Hello friends, the mains 2022 is fast approaching and students had asked me what or what are the necessary things to keep in mind to before going to the examination hall. So I thought of making a video where I would suggest some uh, key things that to keep in mind so that uh, inside the hall it does not become a problem. And also uh, in Minds of Aspirant we are starting three programs. Uh, one is Kairos 2023 and another is uh, Acumen program, uh, Mains Answer Writing program and Kafka G S4 and SA program. The details of the programs is in the my, uh, Minds of Aspirant Telegram group. You can check that. Uh, but in this video, we look at the essential features of answer writing or uh, essential things that a mains candidate has to uh, think about inside the examination hall. So let us go into the video. So what a mains candidate has to do in 2022 mains hall is that uh, first thing that they have to keep in mind is that writing 20 questions or writing the whole paper is very essential because uh, understand this very clearly because many might think that I will write maybe 15 questions very uh, nicely the other questions I am not able to complete the speed is not coming but uh, civil services examination especially mains examination does not work that way uh, the way see your answers have to be in clear format that is a very uh, true thing but completion of paper uh, at least 19 questions you have to complete uh, or see there is at least no at least 20 questions you have to complete you have to make time for it you have to build your speed now is the time for building now for example if you think about it uh, you can uh, have a, you have an ample amount of time for building speed every day at least two or three questions try to write it try to have a time frame 10 mark means this time frame uh, 15 mark means this time frame you you will be able to complete see gs paper 1 2 and 3 are very tough you will have time for gs paper 4 also and you will have time for english paper and your language paper and maybe uh, your uh, optional paper also you can have time but these three papers there will be very less time so you have to practice it now completing this paper is very very essential and uh, take from my experience inside the hall i have made this mistake several times i thought i will write 18 questions nicely two questions i will leave maybe because my speed was not uh, that up to that mark but uh, most of the time what i found is that writing 20 questions uh, in a uh, normal way gives more score than writing 18 questions very nicely this first point you have to very uh, be very careful inside the hall next is the second point is that avoid complex book now the time has come for mains 2022 uh, now you should not uh, see uh, complex book complex material complex uh, reports or uh, complex uh, any data no complex things see from here it is a very keep it simple from now what you have to do is that you have to avoid these complexities even complex people you have to avoid anyone making you anxious uh, tired or in a, in a sense making you scared you should avoid them and you should be able to in a sense look at this point you should be able to have your uh, one topic in one page so there was a program for example acumen answer writing program we did and that is where i realized the fact the mistake which i did in this examination was i used to read these books complex books i used to have so many points in my mind but putting down the points having a very concise version of the topics that we are going to address inside the hall is the key for clearing this examination you can ask me how do you do that e-governance if it is there or for example separation of powers let us assume that there is a question on separation of powers separation of powers the key points are in Lakshmika don't go anywhere else you see the points in which or for example how judiciary and parliament are connected parliament and uh, executive how they are connected and you see the connection and balance you write down the points you jot down the points you make the connection how is this related to separation of powers that is what you should do right Right now you should not go for complex reports for example uh, punchi commission report you can read the whole report and you will not get points rather you can go for these ways methodologies 
brainstorming you can go and uh, attack the points or attack the uh, main uh, concepts which are going to be asked in this mains examination you can have one sheet of paper where you have listed down brainstorm the points that will help you even in gs paper 4 many have asked how do you address gs paper 4 gs paper 4 solve the previous year question paper get the points for the questions get the brainstormed points in single paper four qualities or three essential qualities for a civil servant there are so many nolan committee report is there for four cardinal principles of plato is there there are so many other qualities you can write as ethical qualities of an officer weber's three important qualities traits are there you can write whichever way but uh, the thing is that inside the hall you will get confused what to write so now you prepare the essential because that is the question four or five times they've asked this question in uh, gs paper 4 essential traits of an administrator what it is needed you please jot it down now is the time for you to do this inside the hall you will uh, find it very difficult you can do that but uh, most often i have found that people who have done this before have uh, are, uh, are having a higher advantage inside the hall and the next thing is that do not write answer for facts do not write answer for quotes People ask me this, should I write complex codes, should I write complex data? See, you should write what is necessary for the question. If the question demands a point, you have to write that point. If the question demands a, a fact, you have to, for example, if you see uh, women empowerment, uh, there, is, there are so many questions they will ask about women empowerment, which is a very important topic. People writing mains, you should know this already. But uh, in that, if you think about it, the facts from National Family Health Survey. So one one fact let us assume that anemia in anemia uh, in india for example 50 percent of women or over 50 percent of women are uh, suffering from anemia uh, labor force participation rate in india is 23 percent less than 23 percent or for example uh, the way or uh, more than 60 percent in national family health survey women say that more than 60 percent or around 60 percent they have uh, felt that there has been uh, domestic violence in their home so if you think about it or national crimes records bureau says that there is a very least conviction of uh, women related cases and vulnerable sections which are or the cases lodged against vulnerable section it is not going in the proper way see this can be done or in geography so the climate the rainfall which is falling in india 116 centimeter today's newspaper it came 116 centimeter is the average or in monsoon for example monsoon you can have two-third rainfall southwest monsoon one-third rainfall if you think about it it is a northeast monsoon or the cropping uh, area the cropping area in which how much this uh, irrigation is present how much cropped area is there or food uh, food protection so more than 200 million tons of food produced and what are the other things which are produced rice how much wheat how much? see you can have the basic things but do not go for for example uh, the 60 percent of this uh, happen this 60 percent of something happens or 70 percent of something happens 80 percent of something happens what i say is that you should have data which is essential you do not write an answer for just because you have a fact no you write an answer and you you have an or you embellish the answer with the facts that you have generated the facts that you have in your sense the facts that you have gathered from newspaper and the things the basic books so instead of that because uh, usually what we do is that the things which we have we try to put in the paper that is a very wrong thing the things that are necessary you should put in the paper very very clearly understand it i have made this mistake once in essay writing i uh, i had so many quotes in essay i had so many quotes uh, inside the hall instead of writing an essay what i did was i started writing quotes and i started writing the essay for those quotes the point is the difference people in writing main should understand you should write for the question you should not write for what what you have as facts and uh, quotes 
and gs paper 4 also people ask me whether they have to write so many quotes uh, for quote related questions so this question they asked quote related question you can think about it see you don't have to write many quotes you have to illustrate them in civil services examination in mains especially if you think about it illustration is the key uh, if there is a quote means illustrate that uh, basic what is happiness this was a question what is happiness they asked so you can keep uh, talking happiness for me is that this see instead of that be very specific happiness for me is for example maybe uh, doing good to the family doing good to the society this is a point but illustrate doing good to the society how maybe i'll 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 participate in swachh bharat abhiyan i'll i'll start maybe for example i'll start teaching the poor underprivileged kids or uh, this is social responsibility which makes me happy then i can have economic responsibility which me, will make me happy for example i can be productive in my work i can be a person who pays taxes regularly that will give me an ethical understanding or ethical uh, and moral uh, self fulfillment which will make me happy you have to illustrate you cannot just write happiness is this happiness is that no main key for gs paper 4 what they are looking at is this illustration you can tell you can tell these simple things you can tell traffic rule uh, things i will follow i will follow these traffic rules by that i am becoming ethical and that will make me happy right definitely it makes you happy see just for going tour you can write that i will go for tour i will go for, see this is the truth you can say that happiness is going for tour correct but uh, this is a gs paper for ethics paper for civil services examination you should be so you you can talk about for example i will follow the traffic rules i will be a good samaritan by that i or i will do blood donation see what is necessary or illustrating your characteristics but do not uh, exaggerate do not exaggerate i will give all my money for charity you don't exaggerate tell what is necessary for the paper and in the quotes based gs paper for quotes based many asked this is how you address it next beware of some questions for beware of some questions means uh, what i am trying to say is that read the question properly uh, because many of the time see they will ask you in gs paper 1 india specific question so or global question i'll tell you one question uh, in 1940s uh, during the british or during the decolonization 1940s what did the british empire do to prevent all these things and if you think about it people will go for writing india specific answer they will go for august offer they will go for quit india movement they will go for crips mission cabinet mission things like that in in all these things what the britishers did to prevent de but if you look at the question carefully 1940s british empire prevention of decolonization that's it there is no india in that so it is talking about the world there is also one more question gs paper one uh, communalism question communalism is a uh, communalism arises because of power struggle and one more thing they said power struggle but uh, if you look at very closely so gs paper one we will start writing about india but it is communalism arises due to power struggle if they say they are not they have not mentioned india at all so beware of these questions which question mentions india even in essay for example if essay they ask let us assume see one question was uh, science and technology is the panacea for uh, growth and and security and development of a country science and technology 2012 question i think 2012 question uh, not 12 13 2013 mains question science and technology is the panacea for growth and uh, development of or security and development of a country see country they have said not india so in essay you can talk about the world as well you don't have to restrict yourself to india so that is what that is how you get gain more points you know and uh, there is also one more thing that you have to be aware of uh, they will have these uh, questions where they will say 19th century state formation in 19th century see state formation in 19th century means or middle of the 19th century they will say 1850s or middle of the 18th century they will say that is 1750 
okay so you have to see 18th 19th 20th if they give 18th century 19th century 20th century means you should be very because inside the hall i have faced this question or i will get confused what they are meaning you know see here if they give also it will be very easy but inside the hall 18th century this is a confusion which happens inside the hall so be very well aware of it and one more and the last important point is address each and every part in a question uh, which has been asked see not writing or if you think about it uh, even if you are not able to have many points for a particular part of a question please do go forward with that instead of writing uh, empty points see you will know this writing empty or having empty calories is not going to help you in any way even if you eat a little with protein or some uh, calorie filled nutrition it is going to be very helpful for you similarly in civil services the answer structure which you form for each question it has to be have as a meaning or it has to have points which are very essential one question or uh, one thing i'll tell you constitutional morality is rooted in the constitution itself and is founded on its essential facets explain the doctrine of constitutional morality with the help of relevant judicial decisions this is gs paper 2 2021 if you think about it they are saying constitutional morality is rooted in constitution itself constitutional morality is rooted in constitution itself it they are talking about preamble preamble was added and uh, as uh, acharya kripalni so if we have seen the constitutional debate acharya kripalni says that uh, this uh, this preamble is not only a document or which has been added in the constitution just like that they are moral principles moral principles and dpsb is also there so you can think about this it's rooted right constitutional morality the morality of the society we the people of india have given this morality inside the constitution itself so you can talk about that that is the first part the second is and it's founded on its essential facets the first is that you tell the examiner the three parts are there you know so three parts one is the constitutional morality is rooted in the constitution itself so you tell them yes it is in preamble dpsp it is rooted in constitution itself next you talk about the essential facets essential facets are nothing but the things which have been listed in preamble justice liberty equality fraternity and you can also talk about sovereignty uh, socialist secular democratic See, these are all important facets of uh, morality which has been imbibed. Secularism is one thing. And uh, the third part of the question is judgments to illustrate. See, this is where you have to be very cautious. Uh, this three parts, if you don't address, it is going to be a very big thing. But even if you do not know many judgments, simply uh, if after listing down the facets from the constitution, tell the cases which are you remember. Liberty, you will know that say Puttasami case, the 2017 uh, privacy case, which everyone knows. It is about liberty. You can say democracy for democratic facet. You can talk about how Supreme Court has given this uh, antecedent or criminal antecedent of this uh, uh, people contesting this election had to be given because of the Supreme Court verdict. And you can also talk about secular decisions which have been Supreme Court has taken and justice. One thing is that you can talk about justice, there is uh, justice, social, economic, political. So not only social, uh, economic justice or political justice, social justice is also important. In case of social justice, women empowerment is very important. And in case of social justice, women empowerment, Supreme Court has given this Vishaka judgment, which was the prevention of sexual harassment at workplace. So if you think about it, I have given three cases. Listing down these cases is also very important these three parts if you address and you have to give for other things also uh, sovereignty so for example if you think about sovereignty if you think so india is a very sovereign nation and you can quote berubari case berubari case is about uh, you are giving this land or your territory to someone else you can talk about that so basic cases which we have in the lakshmi khan if you have been able to study or if you are able to study that and if you have been able to uh, analyze this the syllabus which is given and uh, correlate them you will be able to do this and uh, for mains candidate i would ask them to be very open when you are writing 
see do not go with a narrow attitude of uh, uh, what you have read in material the data that you have read from materials no go with an open mind open heart write the question if they are asking a question try to justify that question try to do not write uh, just uh, see you have to be very concentrated and disciplined in your answer do not write for the sake of writing points write with the things which you have learnt and illustrate them and give examples which e with each point and by that you will be able to clear this examination i hope this mains 2022 becomes a very uh, very nice journey for you and you become an officer so thank you for watching this video so if you had liked this video please do like it share it and subscribe to minds of aspirant channel and there is also a minds of aspirant telegram group the link is in the description there is also a minds of aspirant tamil channel you can look at that channel as well and do subscribe to that channel as well thank you for watching have a good night